Hi, I'm Vidal with PhotoFocus, and I'm on location in my hometown of Melbourne, Florida, where I caught up with actress, model, Ashley Belote. Now, Ashley's gonna give us her insight as a model and how she feels on the other side of the camera. Her stories are gonna be able to help photographers and models just starting out. So relax, sit back, and enjoy a story from the set. Hey, Ash, how you doing? I'm good, how are you? Hey, thanks so much for taking time out of your schedule for coming in. Thank you for having me. Good. Now, when we first met, it was through a mutual friend of ours, yes. a photographer friend, and I had you in on the, the Crown series. Mm -hmm. Good. Now, when you came in, I mean, we, we took like maybe three or four shots yes. and we were done. Yes, it um, worked like clockwork. Yeah. Well, what was going through your head when we, we nailed the shots, we were done? You had to be thinking, I was just really? very focused because everything, you were an expert on how to direct the light, the shadow, and so I was just very in focus, making sure I maintained my positioning and I could see the science that went into getting that beautiful photo. And when you understand the science, it can be very quick. Good. Now, when I first met you, you were traveling like everywhere in Florida, working with almost every photographer that would ask. Yes. Now you did that to do what with your portfolio? To help it grow. And now I have hundreds of photos. <laughs> Thousands of photos. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And, and some of the photographers I'm sure are incredible. Mm -hmm. Some photographers you were like, eh. And some of the images you wouldn't want to see the light of day. Probably. Others, and, and, and nothing wrong to those photographers. Keep yeah. in mind that if they were just starting out, it was an experiment for them and experiment for you. Exactly. Um, and you hit on a few key things. I heard you talk to little Erica, one of our other girls before, practice, practice, practice. Mm -hmm. um, and so that's what you did that's by going through a whole bunch of these shoots. Yes. But now, did it cost you quite a bit of money? It definitely did. And I had to be very strategic about how I spent my money. Most of my wardrobe came from Goodwill and was hand-me-downs. Um, but it cost me a lot of money, gas, time, and it, it was, yeah. yes. Now these were free shoots. When you, hit, when you hear a photographer say, well, you're gonna pay me to do these mm -hmm. shoots. And well, wait a second, you're doing an experiment. You're trying to understand lighting and you want me to pay you to practice. Mm -hmm. I mean, what goes, through, what goes on in your head when you hear one of those things? When I hear a photographer asking me to pay? Yeah. Um, well, back then I probably would not have been offended by it and I'm not I'm not offended by it but I'm I really don't feel like I'm at the point where I need I need to pay as much <laughs> anymore um, I feel more like I know what I'm doing and I feel like I'm able to bring something to because the table because you practice I mean, mm -hmm. I mean, and you helped out other photographers just starting out I did. and that's why and again I want to point this out you took chances with some photographers that you thought, ooh, I don't know about this, but mm -hmm. I'll help them. And it was a learning exercise. It as was. long as you walked away with something, yes. I'm sure you were excited about that. Oh yes, but I tried to learn something new from every shoot, whether it be a new pose or a new way that my face would hit the light. Um, I tried to learn something. So a model new. first starting out, yes. right? Let's say a married woman, she has three kids at home and she really wants to get into modeling. Could she do as much traveling as you did Probably not. <laughs> Probably not. So, so there, not. that's where you take the second part of what you've been doing, yes. and that's now you're getting to the point where you're being very selective yes. on who, who you're shooting with. In fact, you just came back from Puerto Rico. I did. Good. And <laughs> let's look at this, this one shot of you on the horse. I absolutely love this shot. I love it too. It was absolutely gorgeous that day. The breeze, the weather, and the colors were so vibrant, and it translated right into the photo. And, and you could definitely see it. Yes. Now, when I first saw this photo, I almost wrote on Facebook, now, Ash, these are the photos you should be taking. <laughs> stop taking the other ones, you know, stop helping too many people. Mm -hmm. Stick to these. And, and it was funny because you had the same, on the same wavelength. You even said, you know what, I'm glad you brought that up. But yes, yes. I've stopped yes. shooting all photographers, helping with all photographers, and now I'm being very selective. Mm -hmm. And that shoot was absolutely amazing. You said you went on waterfalls? Yes, we went hiking to waterfalls in one of the state parks that people travel from all over the world to see. We took a ferry to Vieques, an island in Puerto Rico, and we went to Black Sand Beach. We went hiking through some Indian caves, and it was just, it was beautiful to share that with everyone through photos. Oh, that's incredible. Mm -hmm. Now, to make sure people understand, that would never would have happened your first year in modeling. No, right? never. So, and, and for two reasons, because one, one reason is you had to learn mm -hmm. posing, feeling comfortable in front of the camera yes. and not getting you know, panicked 
comfort is the it. biggest thing. Yeah. And the second is you have to be selective on which photographers you know that could pull something like that off. Yes. So, so I definitely see a huge increase in where you started from the beginning to where you are now. Thank and it's you. awesome seeing the, the progress on it. Thank now, you. if you could give um, any models just a few tips, what would you recommend? If someone just starting out. Well, as women and people in general, we are our own worst critics. And when you're in front of that camera, your critic is telling you all of your flaws and everything that you don't want the lens to see. You cannot let that hold you back. You have to have the confidence to be able to stand there in front of the lens and pose and pose bravely and not let yourself hold you back. Great. Um, also practice, practice in front of the mirror. What works for someone else may not work for you because of your own unique body shape and facial structure. And also I strongly advise asking your photographers what they're doing as they're setting up a shot work to understand lighting. Um, it's, it's really a collaboration to produce a good image. And if you understand what they're seeing and trying to capture, then you can better bring the image to life. That's great. Now, you've heard me talk in the past about GWC, Guys With Cameras. Yeah. Right? Um, I mean, you're very attractive. You have an incredible personality. You're not modeling to pick up dates. No. Good. Do you get sometimes, you get that feeling from some oh, photographers? Yes. Oh yes, and I, when I'm first communicating with a photographer, if they start to hit on me, then I just kind of am like, okay, I'm, I'm not gonna work with this person. <laughs> it's just a good policy. If you feel uneasy before you show up to set, then the images are not Yeah, so follow your gut instinct. And do you feel that, you know, hey guys, look, this isn't match.com, yeah. you know, I wanna get these shots, you know, let's not hit on me. Mm -hmm. um, so that, that's a good thing for, for girls to understand, and even guys, mm -hmm. uh, guy models. Yes. If you feel uncomfortable for whatever reason, don't do it. Now for yourself, the nude photography was something you looked at like, oh, that's really not my comfort zone. Yes. If a photographer pushes that and pushes that on you, what's your, what, what, what would you end up saying or what's a good way to get out of that? Well, I would tell them the things that I do like about their art, whether it be their gift in lighting, but I would just explain to them that it is not my preference to do that type of work. And I've had to do that on several occasions. And it's, it's something that I don't mind doing. I do get chewed out and cursed out sometimes for saying that, but you have to be honest. Good. And keep it, and that, that's the key right there, mm -hmm. be honest. Mm -hmm. um, and one last thing, I really, I really like how you collaborate with ideas, but you're also an incredible um, poet, and you lo I love how you start writing certain things, um, like certain cer certain stories. Yes. Now those stories help you with photo shoots, correct? They do. Sometimes, though, usually a photo is what inspires me to write, and I actually prefer it that way because when I'm on set, I prefer to just feel what's going on around me instead of being preoccupied with something that I'm trying to portray to the letter, so to speak. Um, and then when I look at the images and I see something, then I'll just, however I'm feeling that day, I'll compose a piece, whether it be a poem or a short story, and I share it with everyone that way. That's awesome. Now, where can people find more and view some of your images? Uh, I am on Instagram, and I also have my Facebook page, my professional, uh, Ashley Belote, model and actress. And on my Instagram, it's just my name with a period in between. Sounds great. Well, hey, thanks so much. I really Thank appreciate you. you taking the time out Anytime. and coming here. So, I'm Benelli with Photo Focus. Thanks for watching. <laughs>